The situation here at King's College is deplorable. Research grants are dwindling, prestige is on the wane, and all because Miss Tilda Swanson, England's most brilliant researcher, has abandoned us without leaving a trace. Miss Keyhill, how could all of this ever have come about? Miss Swanson has always been exceedingly undisciplined. A perfect little pest, if I may be allowed the term. Toward the end, she was obsessed by useless archaeological research to the detriment of her studies until she was sought out by Fahat, an he Arabian prince and former student shout. here. He showed her an ancient manuscript, and on the strength of that, she decided to go traipsing around the world with him. Archaeology? Arabian princes? I wonder just what the devil is really behind this mystery. I think she simply wanted to experience the romantic thrills of danger together with her handsome young prince. Nonsense! This is all unutterable, insufferable twaddle. I say she was lured away by the Americans or the Chinese. Doubtless she is sitting in a state-of-the-art laboratory at this very moment, counting the millions that have been waved under her nose to abandon us. The traitress! Hilda, finish your wiring. Lunch is almost ready. Splendid. I wouldn't be late for one of Ben's meals for anything in the world. Been shopping then, have you, Ali? Just a few ingredients for my gig potions. And what potion are these for? Um, the truth is that these are for you. <sighs> Ali, you are a true gentleman and quite the nicest scorpion I've ever known. Howling sandstorms. <laughs> Enough! That wretched young lady must be shown where her duties lie. Miss Keyhole, you must find Miss Swanson wherever she is and persuade her to return to the beloved old college. That is an unequivocal order. It shall be done. Oh, one last thing. What excuse did the young lady give for leaving us? That of finding the seven fragments of a magical jewel that would save the world from an ancient Sumerian demon, sir. A Sumerian demon? Huh. Couldn't she have found something a bit more imaginative? Curses! I've waited seven millennia for this moment, and I must win my war! I can't let a stupid youth bar my way to glory! I need oil to grow strong on! Snot God! Bring me petroleum instantly! Snot God! Oh! What in the devil is happening? Your evilness. There are some strong seismic quakes originating in the forbidden desert. And what are those worms wanting? The people are asking for protection, your filth. Protection yet? I have more important things to do. Shut the doors. <laughs> your cruelty! If the earthquakes continue, your oil wells will suffer great damage! Is not earthquake, idiot child. Preparing me immediately an oil truck! Here I am then, partner. Oh, I mean master, of course. <laughs> I am bringing just what the doctor is ordering. Exquisite. Gather your strength, master, and you will blow Farhat away with one breath. It won't be easy. Farhat already has two fragments of the Shariman, and they make him powerful. They are only shiny little stones, just like pieces of glass. Indeed, but they are the only power in the world that can stop me. A shadow cannot mix itself with the light. Thus, knowing that I cannot touch those crystals, Farhat uses them as weapons against me. But... Come to think of it, the Sharaman has no power at all over you, Snarchkov! Uh, 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 
All you would need to do would be to separate Farha from his precious little baubles, and I would take care of the rest! Serve me well, Snarchkoff, and I will reward you with riches far beyond even your most avaricious dreams. <coughs> yeah. That simpleton is Miss Swanson's father. I called him here. I'm sure I can get some information out of him. Excellent idea indeed, Miss Keyhill. Mr. Swanson, you know how much we appreciate your daughter's talents. King's College has never had such a brilliant collaborator. Oh, very kind of you to say so, I'm sure. So what are you driving at? Seeing that Tilda is at present on sabbatical, we've predisposed an unlimited scholarship fund for her. Now she is free to come back to us whenever she wants. That's very flattering. Now, if you'll just fill out these forms in your daughter's name. Well, I'm not really very good at understanding words printed on a page. It's better if we let Tilda read this stuff and sign it herself. Very well, Mr. Swanson. If you'll just write her current address on this form, we'll take care of the rest. With pleasure. Oh, I don't know where she is. I hear from her every now and then, but, uh... Where was she the last time she rang you up? Well, I never remember them furry names. Well, thanks for your kind offer. I'll be off now. Bye-bye. Wait. At least tell her to write us her address. A postcard, anything. I wouldn't count on it, ducks. Cheerio. How can one deal with the lower classes? What did you tell the old witch, Daddy? Nothing incriminating, I do hope. What'd you take your old man for, a fool? I had fun playing cat and mouse with her for a while. Then I just uh, walked off and left her flat. You should have seen the look on the old crone's face. Oh, that filthy... <laughs> By the way, where are you now? I like to keep up with your comings and goings. On the edge of the desert, in the village of Al Zam Zam. What's that you say? Alza what? Uh, oh, I think I got it. Al, uh... <coughs> Hold on, ducky. Excuse <coughs> me, I've got something in my throat. <coughs> I'm going to look it up on the map. Here we are, the village of Al Zam Zam. All right, love. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Oh, now off to Betty boy. Oh, looks like I wasn't the only one in need of uh, liquid refreshment tonight. <laughs> May I help you? The very idea. We are in very precise position. Let us beginning operation fly spy now. First, I will spy on Farhat with this wonderful piece machinery. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Too well, if anything. And now, do your duty. <laughs> Well, have you seen her or not? Uh, so many people come by here, Missy. I refuse to believe that girls of her particular type of ethnic heritage are frequent around these parts, my good man. You buy a knife, Missy, and I think I will be able to remember the girl. But I have no earthly need of a ridiculous miniature scimitar. <gasps> this is not a stupid knife. This is a truly princely dagger, something no home should be without. This is nothing more than blackmail. Perhaps the Dean would like it as a souvenir. How much is it? Two hundred piastres. Two hundred? That's a piracy, sheer highway robbery. If I weren't on an important mission... Oh, no, that won't do at all. You said two hundred. Yes, but in my country we bargain. Tell me your price. I'm in a hurry. Take the money and tell me where the girl is. You must respect local traditions. No bargaining, no information, Missy. Oh, there's no escaping the lower classes. They're everywhere. <clears throat> we 
will be leaving by nightfall. You're right. I'll start packing my chest of drawers. You've got a lot of drawers in your chest. Better get with it. Excellent suggestion, Farhat. I will get with it. Immediately. Uh, it's true what they say about mirages. I could swear I just saw Miss Keyhole. Look, Ben, that's Miss Keyhole. In flesh and blood, but mostly bones. Oh, oh go blimey! Geysering gushers, who is this? Well, if she distracts Ben and Farhat, it's all to the good. I'll get her out of here on the next broom. No, let me handle this. Miss Keyhole, what a pleasant surprise. You look perfectly well by here, Your Highness. May I be permitted? Less of that, my good man. I want to talk to Tilda and leave this fly-infested hole as soon as may be. Tilda? Oh, that Tilda. I have no idea where she is. I understand. <laughs> Doubtless all the young ladies in this country have collections of stuffed koalas. Sure, Shh. all my wives I... do. <clears throat> well? All right, I'm here. What do you want? My dear young lady, adventure is, of course, not without its appeal. But now it's time for you to come back to your duties at the college. A souvenir. Here, your new research contract. We're giving you a few pennies more so that... Farhat, the fragments, please. There they are. And such lovely little things they are. Uh. Miss Keyhole, I did not leave on a whim. I have to help Prince Farhat find these, the lost fragments of the magical Sharaman. They're the only things that will stop Ego Khan. Oh, yes, the ferocious demon. I suppose now you'll tell me you've actually seen him. Quite. Good God, the drivel I am forced to listen to. A cup of tea? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Open your eyes. You've never seen anything like it in your life. It's a substance unknown to science with a light more powerful than the strongest laser. And we can find it only by use of this ancient map, which I alone am capable of deciphering. It has its charm. Indeed, very pretty. But an accurate analysis in the laboratories of King's College will doubtless show that it is common rock crystal. Oi, you bloody blind twit. Take your stuff and get out of here. I shall not be returning to school at any time in the foreseeable future. Little fool! I shall have you expelled from all the institutions of higher learning in the United Kingdom. You might find that somewhat difficult, inasmuch as I am not enrolled in any of them! At last, Abdul Snarchkov's moment has come. Thou hast eyes to see, but seest not. She didn't even finish her tea. Most un-English. Oh, forget her. We have a long trip ahead yeah, of us. let's concentrate on the important... Hey, what's that fly doing? Raise the alarm! <laughs> what fly? The crystals, the map, they flew away! <gasps> what are you talking about? Howling sandstorms, it was a fly! It grabbed everything and flew away! <laughs> Not there, there! Did you ever before see a camel that loses oil? Let's get moving. Come on. No, wait. There's something fishy going on around here. <gasps> All right. First Miss Keyhole came in. She gave me those papers to sign. I showed her the crystals. Then I put everything on the papers and... Miss Keyhole took the crystals. Oh, what a bloody mess. Farhat Ali, where are you? Well, I've simply got to find her, and that's all there is to it. Things did not go exactly as I had expected them to, but it is not important. The time of my victory is nigh. <laughs> They get here sooner than I am imagining, but I am very well prepared to receiving them. Watch out! Ah! 
<laughs> oh! Miss Keho, wait! Do your best, pitiful, puny enemies. Uh, Holly, get one of your potions going and take care of that tin camel. <laughs> nah, no potion needed. Just the extract of sexy lady camel in mating season. Go to it. <laughs> Is hand grenades keep? Is Mortarovich? What is? What is terrible stink? Look at that! Snarchkov has finally found someone who loves him! <laughs> Swanson, were you looking for these crystals, perchance? Filthy, ah. stinking Givotny. I turn you all into bushed with humps. Never learned how to lose, have you? We lose? It will never happen. Then put up your dukes. <laughs> What a pathetic little struggle. Just what I'd expect from you miserable mortals. Hey, Ego Khan, I expected you, and now... <laughs> <laughs> An unpleasant surprise, uh -oh. right, Fahat? Crystals, you're not worth a grain of sand. Well done, dear partner. Master. <laughs> Now at last we can have done with this meddling brat! And you will end up just like him. Uh, but you have promising me great riches. On the condition that you steal uh, the crystals. Uh, 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 but uh, I fail uh, to see them. Uh, 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 and without them my ascension to power will know no obstacles! Drashin shamesh el nekaker shalin hatar halataka kara me me! He's putting out poison gas! Don't leave, you guys! Your spirits depart from your bodies forthwith! Succumb rapidly! I gotta get something going real quick like here. May the breath of life leave your lungs and minds forever! These things were merely two silly pieces of glass. And now I see they're the means to get you back to the college. What about it? Do we have a bargain? Rather, you have your bargain, Miss Keyhole. And now hand them over, please. Time's running out. I have your word. Quite. Now, will you be so kind as to hand them over? Well, perhaps I have your spoken word, but I think I'll just have your written word as well. In other words, please sign here, Miss Swanson. Is that satisfactory? Hmm. Yes, quite. Here are the crystals. The light of the Sherry Man saved me. This must all be the work of Ego Khan. Tilda, Farhat's life is waning along with the light of the Sharaman. We'll see about that, chum. You are not the predestined prince. The power of the Sharaman is beyond you. <laughs> Your 
puny wiles and stratagems are powerless against me. You can do nothing but wait here until death comes to you and puts in his claim. With some astute mechanical engineering, I think I can get you to do what I want you to. Let's see. Twenty yards to the southwest, then What's find... What's the matter, two... Miss Swanson? Feeling a little peaked, are we? Having trouble catching our breath? You'll never have me, Ego Khan! <sighs> Light of the Christmas has waned. <laughs> huh? No! I can feel their light. I can feel them. I feel them. They're right here, ready to annul your power. No! No! all over Tilda, at least for now. Howling Sandstorm, that could be defined as a real close call. Uh, what in the world has here been going on? The light of the Shariman saved your life, Snarchkoff. Might give some people food for thought, huh? Some people is not Abdul Snarchkoff, your height. I mean your highness. But just wait, your upcomings is upcoming. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never learn, will he? Well, let's roll up our tents and... and... farewell, my friends. In huh? order to get the crystals from Miss Keyhole, I promised to go back to Oxford. But that was blackmail! That's not valid! I gave my word and signed a contract. If I don't go back, she could cause a deal of trouble for my father, and I can't allow that. Mm. You hit a high, I'll hit a low, and we'll get that contract. We're not brigands, Ali. And Miss Keyhole is not Snorchkov. Miss Keyhole! What do you want? To laugh at me while I slink off defeated? I'd hardly call being saved from Ego Khan a defeat. Miss Swanson, really? Stop that Ego Khan nonsense immediately. But what about the Sharaman crystals and the poisonous fuel? She's a and... clear cut case. I can only conclude that you've gone off the deep end, Miss Swanson. I'm delighted you didn't sign the contract. The proper place for you is an insane asylum, not King's College. So, she doesn't remember a thing. I was trying to tell you before. Classic case of amnesia. <laughs> uh, Miss Keyhole? Oh, dear Lord above, what is it now? You were forgetting your... your souvenir. What I went through to get this? It's worth its weight in gold. Be sure to give the Dean our kindest regards. Can't Bye. go to hell, your highness. I think we'll be in and out of that place so many bye, times yet, Miss Keyhole. So Until the light of the Shariman defeats the forces of darkness. Oh.